Hey guys, I'm David from PlayHerton.com, where you can now buy Herton equipment, link below. And welcome to April's installment of Herton in North American News, where we take a look at what's going on in the Herton and Camogie community across the continent. First up in Canadian news, Camogie history was made on the 14th of April, when two Eastern Canadian teams played for the first time ever. Also this month marks the 70th anniversary for the Montreal Shamrocks, and Sean O'Gohalpian is flying over to help them celebrate. For those who don't know who Sean O'Gohalpian is, he's a former footballer and hurler for Cork. And it's so cool that he's going to be there celebrating with the oldest club in Canada. Also on the East Coast this month, the President of Ireland, Michael Higgins, visited GA clubs in New York and Connecticut. On these visits, he gave speeches about his love and passion for the GAA and the Irish around the world. 2,500 children playing Gaelic games in the tri-state area. So it is expanding all the time with 400 clubs scattered abroad, now in every continent of the planet. In other news, the Naperville Hearn and Camogie Club in Illinois hosted the largest Gaelic Games tournament in the Midwest, with 15 teams and up to 250 athletes competing in Hearn, Camogie and Gaelic football. They even appeared on a local cable station to promote the tournament, and it was a great win for the home team, with Naperville winning their own tournament for the first time. In Irish news, this has to be the perfect sideline cut. <laughs> In other Irish news, here's a top tip about choosing your hurl size from Potty Butler. So she has a big long hurley, the knees don't bend, now she has a small hurley and she's not bending. Instead of falling everywhere and sitting into the chair, like all good Camogie players would, sitting into the chair, get your bottom onto the chair, Get your bottom onto the chair, get your bottom onto the chair, and then you're a hurler. Right, you see the chair there behind you? It's very low. You see it? That's the girl. Step back. I think this is an important aspect because especially those new to the game are a bit unsure of what size to have it. So it's always better to go with the short hurl and then kind of figure it out from there. And as you said, like sit down as much as you can. When you're playing hurling with proper form, it should kind of feel like continuous squat. And April's photo of the month goes to the Providence Hurling Club, which pretty much sums up how obsessed we are about hurling here. This is part of a promotion that the Providence Hurling Club are running for a tournament. And April's video of the month goes to the Michael Cusick Hurling Club in Chicago, who captured a challenge match with Naperville with some epic drone footage. <laughs> And April's Club of the Month goes to the Celtic Cowboys in Austin, Texas, who took over the Play Hurling Instagram and Facebook accounts while they hosted the Austin Gaelic Games Experience Tournament. In terms of Hurling, the tournament had a big focus on Gaelic Games for youth. They also had their Komoki team with some players playing a match for the first time and men's Hurling. And a big shout out and thank you to Grace Healy, who managed to play Hurling social media accounts during the takeover. And in very exciting news, we'll be selling hurting equipment at the West Coast 7s in San Diego in May. So make sure to pop by our booth and say hi if you're there. Well, thanks so much for watching. And if your club is up to anything interesting in the month of May, make sure to let me know and I'll include it in the next video. And if you're interested in buying any hurting equipment, make sure to go to playhurting.com shop. And I'll see you in the next video.